It's a couple days. Blah, 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 blah. Mm, tripping over words already. It's a couple days later and we weren't able to get any of the furniture moved in after my car fiasco. So what we're going to try and do today, Natalie has her vehicle. We're going to be trying to move around some furniture pieces today. I have bought a piece of furniture that we need to go pick up this morning. We are also going to be moving around some of Natalie's pieces of furniture from her antique booth in Chattanooga up to Grit and Grace Market, which, exciting announcement, Natalie is getting her own booth inside Grit and Grace Market. So <laughs> next month she will be moving out of my booth and into that space. The first thing we're going to do today is go to the bank, go get that bookshelf. We'll probably go to Grit and Grace Market and break down and make some space to move furniture into the market. And then we will go pick up the rest of the furniture in Chattanooga and bring that back up. So it's gonna be a lot of moving around today and a lot of driving. We picked up the first piece of the day, which is this beautiful antique bookcase with leaded glass in it. So I'm really excited. This one's just getting cleaned and going straight into Grit and Grace. We're able to get the bookcase in and take the shelf down. Now we need to go run and pick up a couple of other pieces. We have a barrister bookcase that is in Natalie's booth currently that we're going to bring in here. We have to drop the shelf off and we may get to one other furniture piece today, just depending on how quickly we can get everything taken care of. But this is kind of how it's looking right now and we will try and get the other structure pieces in and go from there.
I was wrong about which case we were pulling in. We had talked originally about pulling the Barrister bookcase into the booth, but I think instead that gives Natalie way more space to display items until her booth closes out at the end of this month. So we grabbed the Curio cabinet instead. We got it loaded in the back and now we're going to take it over to Grit and Grace. We might also try and grab one more piece of furniture today from my mom's house and get it in the booth. We'll have to see how we're feeling. Furniture piece number two is now in. I've got two more furniture pieces I would like to get in today, but I think that's a little bit of a lofty goal. So we're going to try for at least one of those pieces, which will go back into my sustainability stuff. So we're going to go get ourselves some food because it's like three o'clock and we haven't really eaten any lunch yet. And then we're gonna see if we can move the third piece of furniture for the day. We just got ourselves some food and now we are here to pick up the third item of the day, which is a shelving unit that I'm hoping to move all the sustainability items onto. as much done as we can get done today um there's still a lot of mess there's empty shelves and a lot of things piled on in one place or another so i think i'm going to come back tomorrow and do some more rearranging and try and get this buttoned up for tomorrow and we were able to get my car back today so <laughs> natalie dropped me off i have my car back and that's gonna make things a little bit easier for the rest of the week. I think the plan is to come back tomorrow, do some rearranging, moving around, put my vignettes together a little bit better so that it doesn't feel so all over the place in the antique booth. And then we can finally say that we are done with the spring reset.
it's been a few weeks now weirdly enough i am wearing the same jacket i was in the video unfortunately we were not able to get a really good ending idea of how the spring reset looked just because things ended up selling down so quickly. So Natalie ended up coming in and moving some items out and into her booth space. The shelf system that we moved in, we ended up replacing with another one. The bookcase sold, a bunch of the small sold. I didn't even get to style the bookcase before it ended up selling. You could see there were a lot of blank spots on the shelving units in the curio cabinet, and those did end up getting filled up before we moved around furniture again. So apologies about that, and hopefully you enjoy this look of how the booth did end up turning out that evening at essentially its most complete point that it got to. We do have some really fun thrift with me videos coming up along with Natalie's booth reset and working on the summer reset. So stay tuned and I can't wait to see you in the next one.